six centuries before Christ, the inhabitants of the Egyptian oasis of Siwa looked out at the Sahara and held their breaths. At the heart of the oasis was one of the most powerful propaganda weapons of the ancient world, the Oracle of Ammon. Oracles predicted the future, delivered omens that could be more or less obscure, and offered divine guidance. The Siwan Oracle was considered one of the three greatest of the ancient world, alongside the oracles of Delphi and Dodoni. Because of the Greek colonies in Cyrenaica, the temple associated Zeus with the worship of Ammon. Just days away was a mighty Persian army on a mission to destroy it. The army never arrived. Engulfed by a sandstorm, they were said to have been lost without trace. But is it just legend or terrible truth? Amidst the dangers of Egypt's great sand sea, in 539 BC, Cyrus, king of Persia, defeated Babylon, founding the largest empire the world had ever seen. When his son Cambyses went on to conquer Egypt in 525 BC, he sent an army to attack a small oasis. The rest is history, or a tall story. The Greek writer Herodotus was the most famous historian of the ancient world. A single paragraph he wrote reads like fiction, but may be the only evidence for the hideous fate of Cambyses' army. Cambyses detached a body of 50,000 men with orders to attack the Ammonians, reduce them to slavery, and burn the oracle. The force started from Thebes and may be traced as far as the town of Oasis, seven days' journey across the sand. General report has it that when the army had left Oasis, and in their march across the desert had reached a point about midway. A southerly wind of extreme violence drove the sand in heaps over them as they were taking their midday meal, so that they disappeared forever. I think if Cambyses' army were to be found in the desert, I think it would spell the end of one of the long-standing mysteries um, in ancient history. What happened to Cambyses' army? Is Herodotus' account really true? Weapons, skulls, um, skeletons, possibly chariots. This is a soldier. Could the legend of the lost army of Cambyses be true? 